Producers Will Hannafin and Jenny Kelly are just back from a press screening of Fifty Shades of Grey and it's the most talked about movie in an awful long time and they reckon it's going to break all sorts of records um, this weekend. They reckon there hasn't been a, a cinema phenomenon like this or a film phenomenon as they say down in Kildare like this since Mamma Mia back in 2008. So how, how did you get on? How did you get on, Jenny? Uh, Oops, sorry. Yeah, I'm slightly breathless, Ray. In fact, I'm very breathless. That's just because I had to leg it from the taxi there. Nothing about the movie. (laughs) Because because you went with me. (laughs) Yeah. Was that a date? Were you on a date? It was kind of strange. I actually, on the way over in the taxi, we were speaking with Will's wife, Mary, and I said to her, are you okay with this? Are you quite comfortable that I'm going to see Fifty Shades of Grey with your husband? And she just laughed. Kind of laughed like you. You did as you waved us goodbye. Yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, don't worry about it. It was grand. Yeah. Is it just, I'm, I'm skipping the questions you've given me. But, yeah. Um, is, is it a, would it be a, a date movie? Oh yeah, I definitely think date we're movie. going to be going okay. on time. dates. Yeah, Big okay. time. Yeah. I mean, we went to a press screening now, so it wouldn't be your normal sample size <laughs> of the Irish population that would be going to this movie. We'd be talking, I would say, average 49, slightly overweight males <laughs> sitting, unaccompanied males sitting in a darkened room watching, watching a bondage movie. Every now and again, there was a large... <laughs> 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 the odd kind of dead leg and you know the kind of varicose veins at people some people had to walk up and wander around stretch yeah stretch their knees <laughs> bit of fumbling of... for uh, cholesterol medication on the ground that kind of thing but other than that it was it was a very life life of fil- affirming experience but, but I suppose Jamie Dornan didn't get a round of applause when he went topless first right? no like that, that was just me on my head just... I, I stood up I gave him a standing ovation yeah uh, so just tell people about the whole thing Who I'm, I'm sure everybody knows but just fill them in you mightn't though Fifty Shades of Grey um, it's a novel by British author E.L. James I think most people have heard of her her real name is Erica Mitchell she's an English woman and um the book is, it's, a, it's the first of a trilogy, which is set in Seattle, and it looks at the relationship between Christian Grey and a naive literature student, Anastasia Steele. Uh, did I mention that Christian Grey is 27 and he's a billionaire and he's also ridiculously handsome as well? Okay. Uh, the story goes on about their infatuation with each other, um, but... What we do find out is Christian is a man who has what he describes as singular tastes. Do you want to hear that clip then? Yeah. Because we haven't seen that actually. Yeah. Why am I here, Christian? You're here because I'm incapable of leaving you alone. And don't? Why'd you send me those books? I thought I owed you an apology. For what? Listen to me. I don't do romance. My tastes are very... Singular, you wouldn't understand. Enlighten me then. Enlighten me then. Enlighten me then. Flutter, 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 flutter. Uh, the book itself, it was originally released as an e-book and then it went on a print and demand paper book. So it started out life quite slowly. Now, the, the laugh is over 100 million books have been sold worldwide. She's worth $60 million. She's worth $60 million. Um, Do you want some stats in the movie itself? Yeah, yeah. OK, so we had to wait. Will and I had to wait 42 minutes for the first sexual encounter. OK. Uh, there are 14 spanks with a whip and by hand in the whole movie. Uh, Dakota Johnson, she plays Anastasia. She bites her lip 15 times. Yeah, right. in that really kind of little girl way. There are eight sex scenes that last 19 minutes and 13 seconds. Not each no. together. No, yeah. no, not the ones that we saw anyway. No, total, we saw about total, four yeah. of them, I reckon. I think we saw maybe four or five of them anyway. Um, yeah. No, so. the reason you didn't see them all is because you had to leave early well, to be here. Yeah. Out. Not because you were doing something else. No, <laughs> Ray. Um, you well, had to he, wait five minutes less for him to take his shirt off for the first time. And he, he's he's a successful businessman, a uh, multimillionaire, is. as Jenny said. And yeah. uh, so there's a lot of contract law between him and her. Oh, very much. And you're so. a barrister, so I am. you're perfectly positioned to comment on that. <laughs> it's not like any kind of contract that I've seen before, though. They, they had a big business meeting, and the contract is about him to become a dominant and her to become a submissive. Um, so there's the terms in it that they were negotiating were terms like Jenny what were they suspension and certain clamps for clamps certain clamps for certain parts ne- of the body we can't really regions. go into now right but um, it kind of, when it, when the, he was very insistent that the contract be signed before they could get down to business and it kind of he kind of reminded me of Irish Water you know where they're really insisting on you signing a contract <laughs> and you know that there's going to be lots of pain afterwards and just the odd little sweetener, you know, like uh, Joan Burton's 100 euro allowance. In, in her case, you know, he, he does really creepy things like she's just graduated from college and he's obviously in a dominant position in 
the world as well. So like she has a Volkswagen Beetle, an old battered one, and um, he buys her a new car and all that kind of stuff. Doesn't tell her. And that that's happens in real life as well. Some does people. Yeah, 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 I know a few people that's happened to. Well, one, yeah, two. Well, one of the things that a lot of people who've read the book were saying was that they had a picture of Christian Grey in their heads. And they didn't want to go along to the cinema and be disappointed. Mm. You know, does Jamie Dornan, the, play, the guy who plays uh, Christian Grey, does he disappoint? Well, we saw this magazine cover and it actually speaks the truth. And there's a picture of Jamie Dornan and it says, Proof God is a woman. Look at that man. He is, to use a Zoolander expression, ridiculously good looking. He yeah, is. Yeah. And you know, Will was saying about when he first takes off his shirt, that did go on for a bit, but I was perfectly happy, Ray. You know, for the sake of this radio show, I said, I don't mind if he spends as long as he wants taking off that They shirt. actually did it in slow-mo. Did they? The shirt, yeah. Oh, Ish. Off. Ish. And you you read the book, Jenny, so... Oh God, yeah. I can't even really remember it. It's that okay. bad. The okay. book is that bad. I kind of read it and then forgot it in about Just on, on, a, on a serious thing, the, yes. the, 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 the script writer, uh, Patrick Marber, who's mm-hmm. a famous script writer, seemingly had uh, a lot of head-to-heads with E.L. James. Um, and some people are saying, the reviews coming in from the States, that the movie is actually an improvement on the book. Oh yeah, definitely. Is it, yeah? Definitely, yeah. It's shot... It's beautifully shot. Like, it does look really, really good. Like I said, the two lead characters are beautiful to look at. The script isn't actually too bad. It's quite funny. One of the scenes is um, when Christian Grey is bringing Anastasia for the first time. He wants to show her his, inverted commas, playroom. And as they're walking towards it, she goes, what, you mean like your Xbox? (laughs) It's just beyond this door. What is? My playroom. Like your Xbox and stuff? It's important that you know you can leave at any time. Why? What's in there? I meant what I said. The helicopter's in standby to take you whenever you want to go. Could you just open the door? Yeah, she gets a bit of a shock when she goes into that room. I did as well. I was a bit like, okay then. You see, I would imagine if there was a cinema full of women, yeah. mm. that when it came to that point in the movie, there mm. would be a round of applause. There'd be gas of anticipation. No, don't, no, no, don't know about no, that. No, think so, no. no, because that room is, is intimidating. You know, because right. you don't know what to expect. And you go in, it's like a soundproof red room and hanging from the ceiling are all these different types of bondage materials and you know whips and he's picking them up and he's showing them to her and her nerves are quite reflective I think in the audience without getting too deep about it but like the funny thing about it is Christian Grey and uh, Jamie Dornan um, uh, he's like a pastiche of every single kind of Mills and Boone character you you can ever imagine it's like you know the first date he, he gets he brings her off in a helicopter to his like most amazing apartment with like you know the full wind everywhere looking out on the city and uh, after the first night they make love uh, she wakes up in bed on her own and she hears the piano playing and she walks down with the sheet tied around her and he's there in the nip playing piano on his own <laughs> just me and my piano anesthesia so kind of related back to real life it's kind of like if a girl met a guy you know in a nightclub yeah. uh, in a copper face jacks or something and you went back to his place and, and like he had you know take that posters on his wall and you know you got all these kind of like weird weird signals that everything isn't right like, oh, sure do you know don't. what I mean I don't, I don't get the reference I don't, <laughs> I don't get the reference so in, in a way this is escapism for women is it and that's why the books were so popular they called it mum porn and you, mummy porn mummy you porn. could not take this film seriously in any and way, if you do form. try to you know, intellectualize it, or even you know, even when we were in the cab on the way back, I said, you know, as a woman, I actually feel slightly uncomfortable because at certain stages, I wanted just to actually spank myself. I want not myself <laughs> spank Anastasia. I've never tried spanking myself. Spank Anastasia, you know, for just going. Would you wake up? You're a college graduate. This guy's an idiot. You know, yeah. like her mother, shake her and go. What are you doing? But you can't. You just have to go to that movie and just take for what it is. Watching two ridiculously good people and good looking and, people. Not good. We don't know if they're good people. I'm sure they are good people. Good Look, excuse me, good looking people. She, yeah. she is Don Johnson's daughter, Dakota, yeah, yeah. That's and her Melanie name. Griffith and Don Johnson. That's so th- that's an attractive gene pool enough, mm. yeah, yeah. And yeah. Jamie Dornan, people know him from the fall, yes. And he was a was he a he was what a model, sort of, a model, underwear, model, underwear model before that. Well, he does a very good American accent mm. as well, 
We, what about the sex scenes? You said they, they, they amount to 19 minutes. Will, I'll make Will feel yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah, Will, go for <laughs> Will. I'll, I'll I, hand that over to yeah, you, William. Uh, yeah, <laughs> good, good point, Jenny. Well, I've, I've drawn you this diagram, Ray. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've drawn your diagram here. Okay. Okay. So, like, yeah, they're they're, um, they're, they're quite full on. All right. They are very full on. Do you know what actually, shot, yeah, I would imagine. There's lots of nipples. Did you notice that? <laughs> like, there's nipples everywhere. Clamps right? or nipples. no? Just actual nipples. No. Everybody's yes. Nipples yes. everywhere. Right. Yeah. Nipples okay. Everywhere. Okay. Um, uh, Fifty-five thousand people, and um, uh, that's probably increased since last weekend. Have pre-booked tickets to see this, so it's going to be a ripper and success yeah, well, in the first weekend. It, but then it's going to settle down. Do you, would you recommend it? Well, I was going to say it's projected to make sixty um, million dollars in the first weekend, right? In America, would you recommend it? Would I? Oh yeah, you yeah. got to go just for a bit of a giggle. Well, yeah, we were counting his issues. Remember, we lost count. All the kind of issues he had. Oh, he had God, mommy issues. Yeah, well, he's got every issue. Mrs. Now, Robinson mankind. issues, anger issues. Yeah. Dominance issues, lots we, sorts of issues, control issues. Right, but recommended from here. Yeah. Jenny Kelly, Will Hanfin, thank you very much. 51551 or ray at rte.ie.